Hi everyone, I'm your fave nurse B. So you have just completed your first semester of nursing school or even just your prerequisites and you're like, yeah, I completely bombed that. And you might be in a situation where you're like, I don't know if I should continue. Will I be able to continue? I'm stupid. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh my gosh, how am I going to get this done? I'm here to give you some tips to help you to get through that. I myself, um, I did pretty well my first semester of nursing school, but then second semester, I was over, I was done. Like I told you, another video actually failed out of one of my prerequisites, and I'll show up here at the video for that, but I failed out of one of my prerequisites. It was just, yeah, it was, it was a lot going on, but I want to give you all some tips to help you to bounce back from that, to go into your next semester a lot more confident, a lot more prepared, a lot more organized. So if you're interested in that, continue to watch. So my first tip is for you all to first just be like, you know what, pat yourself on the back. You at least you completed it. You might not have completed all your classes where you wanted to be. Maybe you wanted to get all A's. Maybe you wanted to um, get a certain percentage in all your classes, whatever the case may be. Just pat yourself on the back that you completed it because so many people are not able to get to that first semester of nursing school and a lot of people aren't able to get past some of their prerequisites as well but make sure that you're not beating yourself up too much about it pat yourself on the back and keep it moving you have to just be like you know what that's the past i may have not gotten all the grades that i wanted i didn't do exactly how i wanted to do things but you know what i'm moving forward that's what you gotta do okay first start off with that mindset now the second thing i would say do is do a little bit of um basically get off your butt and get things done so if you're anything like me um i was a really busy student i worked full time I was in school full time at one point i was pregnant during my prerequisites and was still working full time um and i've also been a mom a new mom while i was doing prerequisites as well and working on top of that so things can get super super busy especially in your home life so i definitely suggest when you get a little bit of time off of your semester once you get some time off from school even if it's just for a weekend you need to take time to get your house together um even if you have to solicit some friends and our family members to help you just to kind of get everything organized throw away old paperwork that you have just clean up make things just more um just clean because if your if your environment is kind of cluttered and all over the place and you just don't know where things are and it's just like it can become super overwhelming and it's like it's it just gets worse and worse and worse if you know what i'm saying especially your car i know with me i felt like i was literally living out of my car i would just have books all over the back seat food in the car like all this type of stuff you know i had just like you know what let me take a minute even if I say, you know what, I'm just going to clean up for the next hour, get everything together, boom. Or uh, come in this room and get like, do like 15 minutes of just throwing stuff out the way, getting stuff, moving stuff around, whatever. I know you might not have a lot of time, but just time yourself doing it. It'll make you move faster. It'll make you focus on what needs to be done versus being like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Start looking through papers and being like, oh yeah, I remember when I did this, I remember when I did that. Girl, just get in there, get it done, move on to the next one, especially your car, like I said. So that's number two is to make sure that you get your space a lot more cleaner and organized and ask for help if needed. So tip number three is to look and uh, sit down with yourself and think, okay, you know, what worked for me last semester? What didn't work for me? So you can um, really want to know what happened that made it so it wasn't as best for you. So for me, when I was in school, I was working way too much. When I fell out of that class that I was telling you about, I realized I was working a whole bunch of overtime because they had a lot of overtime, a lot of bonuses at my job. And I was like, thank you. I was <laughs> I was racking up on the overtime. But it really, like, I was had to really assess and think about, like, okay, is it having this check and have a bigger check, you know, for whatever I want to do? Is that more important than me actually getting what I need to get out of this class, the money that I already put into the class and the books, and the time like which one is gonna have me at a better position you know long term and of course me getting the material that I need to get out of that class and also um, getting the grade that I needed was way more important than an extra $300 on my check you know what I'm saying so it was I had to really sit down with myself like, okay what am I gonna do differently so look at that maybe you had too many distractions your first semester maybe you weren't as prepared as you thought that you should have been um, maybe you weren't as organized so look at that and see what you know what went wrong and then come up with things you can do to uh, make sure that it doesn't happen again or if it does happen have something in place to combat it you get what I'm saying and then look at what worked okay did it work for me to have study groups or did it not work 
yeah, me being in the study group really, really helped me. So make sure that you keep man's hand in that, you know? Or did it really help me to record lectures? Yes, it did because I was super busy. I was able to listen to lectures while I was in my car. Boom, do that. Or you realize, you know what? I did a lot of flashcards last semester and it took up so much time. Like, it wasn't it wasn't um, as beneficial to me as I thought it would be. So then you say, you know what? Instead of doing flashcards, maybe I'll do outlines. Something like that. Make sure that you just look and see what was working. Especially if you're busy and you have so much going on. You need to find ways to uh, get as much done as possible with the time that you have. So very, be very smart about that. And I will be doing a video for busy working students. So definitely um, stay tuned for that. Because I worked the entire time I was in nursing school. And also while I did my prerequisites. Um, so that's that. Tip number four is to... Tip number four... <laughs> Tip number four is to get organized. So you already cleaned your space, probably threw some things out. You need to make sure that you're organizing all your paperwork from school. Uh, if you want to keep paperwork and books, make sure you put that somewhere where it needs to be. Um, but for me, having a planner really helped me while I was in nursing school. You don't have to have a planner though, but having it and actually using it, like putting down, as soon as you get your syllabus, Write down when you have tests, write down when you have quizzes. You can put it in your phone so that it reminds you. You can put it in there like a day before the actual test to remind you, okay, you got this test or you got this assignment due on this day or that day homework. As soon as you get that syllabus from school, you need to put all of that information in your phone, like on, on your Google Calendar, so it can remind you. And also put it in your planner so that as you're going throughout the week planning different things, you'll actually see it in your planner. Like it's really really important to do that you all because I I know there was certain times where I would forget an assignment especially when I was working I would forget an assignment and it would just be like girl how, how like what the hell it was just so much going on because especially because you're taking like two or three classes at a time maybe even four classes at a time it can be really overwhelming you need to make sure that you've organized all of your coursework in one area and you're reminded of when things are due okay so make sure you do that my fifth tip is when you have some time off, like on spring break, fall break, things like that, um, you need, or even if you have a week where you don't have like a lot of homework or quizzes or tests, you need to take a minute to look at the material that you do not understand. Not necessarily what you don't understand for that week, but of course look at that, but stuff from the past that you, you're like, oh man, I still don't know like normal lab values for da 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 da. Or I'm still really not that good at converting, you know, in the metric system. Let's say you're in chemistry or something like that. Like, I'm still not that good at that. Things in nursing and really which are prereqs too, things start to build up on top of each other. And if you don't understand, like, the foundation or the basics of it, it's going to be very, very hard for you to grasp, um, for you to grasp more complex concepts, um, because you don't have that foundation. And if you don't understand, like I said, if you don't understand certain things, you're not gonna be able to understand something that's even bigger. So you definitely need to make sure that you go back over stuff that you don't understand, talk to your professors, look it up online, look back in your book, look at your notes, talk to other classmates, whatever you have to do to understand those basic things. I know it can be kind of boring going over the basic stuff. You know, you wanna just get to like, I wanna just learn about diseases. But you know, if you're really not that good at anatomy and physiology, Looking at diseases and learning about diseases is going to be really hard because, I mean, we know you have to know what the normal is to understand what the abnormal is. You get what I'm saying as far as diseases when it comes to anatomy and physiology. So look at your basics. Make sure you have a good, good, good understanding of those before you move forward and go over anything that was challenging to begin with um, to make sure that you understand it so that you can be a lot more um, proficient going forward okay so those are my tips we were all five tips let's recap so the first tip is to pack yourself on the back say you know what the past is the past do not beat yourself about it and just move forward the second thing is to make sure that you get your space around you clean clean up your house clean out your car get stuff out the way keep it moving um number three is to shoot what was number three get organized get yourself a planner put all your information in your planner and also on your google docs to remind you of what's to come for the semester so that you don't miss assignments and miss those like points that you need to be successful in a class and number five make sure that you look over materials that you don't understand um before the next semester anything that you had that was a challenge or came tough to you make sure you re uh 
make sure you go over it study a little bit more go deeper into it so that you'll be able to learn more complex concepts as you move forward so i hope these tips were helpful um make sure that you put any requests in the comment section also in the comment section i would love to know where you are in nursing school and also if you're in your prereqs like what classes are you taking how do you feel how was things how was your last semester let me know in the comment section what happened um was it really rough or did you feel like you did pretty well what are you gonna do moving forward okay thanks for watching you all peace